Assalamu alaikum. Today's topic is about calling the people of Ta'if. So, the Prophet and the reaction of the people of Ta'if. The Prophet, peace be upon him, suffered greatly from the increasing abuse and maltreatment of Quraysh. They even dared to threaten to hurt him in public. After the death of his uncle Abu Talib, who used to support him. So the Messenger of Allah, peace be, upon, peace be upon him, decided to go out to Ta'if, seeking taqif protection from the bad treatment he had suffered from his people in Mecca. He also hoped to get the help that he needed to proclaim his call da'wah to Islam. In Ta'if, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, met three of the city promoted figures. He called upon them to accept the message of Allah, glory be to him, and to support him in proclaiming his call to Islam. But they reacted with mocking and ridiculous. And the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, was very sad and depressed. Before leaving, he asked the three brothers not to tell Quraysh what had discussed with them. But they did not do that. Instead, they provoked their hooligans and slaves to insult the Prophet, peace be upon him, shout at him, and hit him with stones until his heels were bleeding. The Prophet, peace be upon him, came to the ark owned by the Udbah and Shaybah, Rabi'ah's sons. He sat in the shade of a grape tree to catch his breath in a state of severe sadness and grave. He turned to Allah, glory be to him, to complain to him, saying, O oh Allah, unto you do I complain of my weakness, O oh, my helpness, and of my loneliness before men, O most merciful of the merciful, O Lord of the weak and my Lord too, into whose hand have you entrusted me, unto some far of stranger who receives me with hostility, and unto an enemy whom you have empowered against me. I care not, so as long as you are not angry with me. But your favoring help is burned away from for me. I take refuge in the light of your con countenance, whereby all darkness are eliminated, and all things of this world and the next are rightly ordered. Lost, least you make descend your anger upon me, or least your anger surrounds me. I should remove the cause of your displeasure until you are well pleased. There is no power and no mighty except through you. At that time, the Prophet, peace be upon him, complained his prayers for his Lord, glorified and exalted be he. The two sons of Rabi'ah ah were looking at him and listening to his prayer. They were he, like hurt, felt sympathetic with this scene. They sent their Christian servant, Adas, to pick up and offer some grapes to the Prophet, peace be upon him. So the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Bismillah, in the name of Allah, and began eating. Adas said, This is a word that the people of this country do not say. The Prophet, peace be upon him, asked him, What country are you from? What is your religion? Ada said, I am a Christian from Ninvia. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Are you from the village of the good man Yunus bin Matta? Ada said, How did you know Yunus? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, He is my brother. He was a prophet, and I am also a prophet. Adas couldn't contain himself. 
he kissed the prophet's head, hands, and feet. When Adas returned, his master said to him, Shame on you. What have you done? Adas said. Referring to the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, there is no one on earth better than this man. The prophet, peace be upon him, returned to Mecca and entered it under the protection of the under the protection of the Mutayyim bin Hadi. Our messenger is an excellent example of tolerance and kindness. When the leaders of Ta'if rejected the call of Islam, the Prophet, peace be upon him, was deeply saddened. So he left with deep distress on his face. So the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, didn't recover until he heard Jibreel, peace be upon him, saying, Allah has heard your people saying to you and what they have replied back to you. Allah has sent the angel of the mountains to you so that you may order him to do whatever you wish to those people. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, No, but I hope that Allah will let them beget children who will worship Allah alone and will worship none beside him. So let's conclude the lessons learned from the Prophet's call to the people of Ta'if. So Islam is a message to all humanity. It's not a specific for race or a tribe or any kind of people or a specific people. It's for all humanity. Steadfastened on the truth and the tolerance and tolerating harm. Man should say the truth and abide by it. Responding with kindness to bad treatment. Thank you, Winchester School. Wish you all the best.